Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh, and I am here to do a market review of the SPY. SPY is rallying today, called the market to hold. The market is holding. The market did gap down this morning, actually did gap down below where we opened. Let's take a look here. So low is 197.15. Saw that right there in the spy. But we open today at 98.77. So remember, support and resistance are areas. This is an area of support in the SPY, and it's holding. It is holding, OK? So this level is holding because where we opened today held. I did a video yesterday on the QQQs, and I talked about the fact that buying actually came into the market yesterday to support it, or the drop from yesterday would have been more severe and bigger. It sounds crazy for the fact that I say that buying came in on a day where the market was red, but it did. Institutional buying came into the market yesterday or it would not have been supported in the way that it was. It would have fallen harder and deeper and greater, and it did not. It did not. Then we fell this morning in the gap, in the gap down in the pre-market, fell. That was a continuation from yesterday, but once again, buying came in and supported the market again into the open and is supporting it on the live deck. So the call for today was the market would rally. Target was 200, 250, 201. Dream target today in the SPY is 202, and it's 1122. And it could get there because people that are short this market will exit some of the position here today. People that have shorted in here and shorted in here will take some out or get all out, even though people still think the market's lower. Some people will take this as a target and exit today. Shorts will Some shorts will cover in here today, but really it's buying. It's supporting the market. We'll lift it up too. I don't know exactly where we close today, but we will close with a green body day, and there's no chance of failure in that. We even broke the low at one point by five pennies or something. I don't even know what it was in the queues. Uh, I think we did it here. Oh, it was almost 20 cents. Almost 20 cents, we broke the lows in the SPY right into the reversal time into 10.15, and then we immediately bounced and held. But somebody's going to try to keep shorting this market on the 15 minute today. It's just not going to go anywhere. We will close green today. So the market's holding and will hold. I just don't know how aggressively we hold today. But it'll be enough to carry us through into next week. When I did the QQQs video yesterday, I did say that sometime soon. I don't know when because I can't predict the timing and I won't know until I see the gap. The institutional buying will come in back into the market and in a big way. Now. This morning, the market gap down, but I saw the gap down today as a buy. Again, not every gap down is a short. Not every gap up is a long. You have to know exactly what you're looking at to determine how to do this. How do I do it? I have a 26-point rating system that tells me whether something's a good short or long. This was not a good bearish down in the gap today for it to follow through, to follow through lower. It was not a gap to short today in the market. In fact, you could have bought this gap in the market today and you would be up, you would be profitable if you had your stop at the right place. Okay. I did call the market long in the room. Tricky day today because a lot of people probably thought this market would fall when they woke up and saw the gap down in the morning falling, especially when it broke 198, 197, it got down somewhere around there. But the market is holding, it is holding, the market's still higher. Everything I've said for this year is still playing out. There's nothing here that is even remotely inconsistent with anything that I've been reading or saying. The market is behaving extremely well, very, very well. And I did call this in the letter that I sent out in the email at the end of 2014. This will be a tricky year for people if you don't know what to do. If you are not, 
If you do not know how to read this right, it will be a tricky trading year for you. And if you do know how to read it right, you will do very well, okay? But it's going to be a year that has a lot of potential for people to make money if they have the right skills. If they're focused and have the right skill set, it'll be a big year. I'm one of those people. But if you do not know how to read this right, you might have a tough year this year because you might get sucked into thinking certain things that are not going to play out. And one is that the market isn't breaking here, and it's not. It's not. It's just not. And I keep saying that it's not. You have to read the price. Sometimes the red bars and the green bars help to pick something very quickly for you to determine if something's strong or weak. But that's not what I look at. I'm looking at the price action of how something's trading. And that's how I knew yesterday that institutional buying came to hold that and support that market at that level, even though we had a red day. It's, you have to read the price action, how, what it's doing. And that's how you do it. That's how you know. This is, again, something that I'm teaching people. It can be taught. It's based on reading price action and gaps that I've become so good at reading price. But I do have an extremely good eye for seeing things, uh, you know, seeing certain levels or seeing what something's going to do before it does it. That's how I'm able to call the market that it's going to really have a big year rally. I mean, we, we, haven't, we haven't started it yet, but it's only January 16th. Market's been trading for two weeks. It's like nothing, you know. But all of this has people short in the market. And when they have to cover, that will lift the market up even higher and even more so. Just look at the 15 minute. You know, and even when I saw this, I was watching this, I watched this happen live this morning. This is, you know, it stepped in very aggressively, very aggressively stepped in. Anyways, let's go back to yesterday. This is being supported. This is buying coming in. Yesterday, the market was supported with institutional buying, despite the fact the bar was red. This is being bought and supported. And if the market had wanted to fall yesterday, it would have fallen something crazy. That's the thing, too. The market gapped up yesterday, gapped up, gapped up to the whole number 202 and failed on a daily buy setup and ran red and nearly broke the low the previous day. But it didn't. But it could have. But it didn't. The market in the SPY could have fallen and dropped yesterday to all the way down to 198, 196, 197, all the way down. The market could have. If it wanted to sell off hard yesterday, fallen flat on its face, just fallen really, really big. But it didn't. It was supported. It was supported because buying came in and held it to support it, not to do that. If this was real, if this had really played out the way that it could have played out but did not, which I didn't think it would, it, this failure of the gap up and the failure of the buy setup on the daily chart could have just collapsed, collapsed through everything and sold off like a crazy person. And that's really how that would have played out to show more signs of weakness in there, which it's just not doing because there isn't anything weak in the market. There's nothing weak in the market. So the buying came in to support it. All right. Buying came in to stay here. We rallied hard in the morning on this day here, even though we fell on the news action that happened in the afternoon. So you have to be able to read what's really going on in this, the way things are trading and acting, okay? The institutional buyers are waiting in the market to take more in and grab hold at any point. They are still stepping into this fourth market or it wouldn't be here at this level today, all right? Call for next week is actually that we do follow through, finally on the rally back up. I will know when I see the gap Tuesday morning, but it really looks like we are working ourselves up, working up the momentum, working up, the plan of action to continue higher before the end of the calendar month. That much I will say. I, I think that it could set up by early next week, but it will definitely be by the end of January. And when it comes in, it's going to be aggressive because that's always the way it happens because money has a huge, tremendous amount of power. Huge, massive. Okay. That's why you can't trade against institutional money in the market. And I admit that this can be challenging to read, but I do know how to do it. I'm teaching people to do it. It's because I know how to read gaps that I do it. 
This information is accessible to anyone who wants to learn it. It's just that many, many people do not know how to do this. I said yesterday when I made the call in BBY, which was a great call, and I saw it, and the the market is another great call here that I've been I've just been calling this so well for a long time now. And I'm calling it well even now. But you know, the thing that's unique about people I think that come and find me to learn from me one on one is that there are there are very few people that have the skill set that I have that is accessible to individuals to come and learn from me. Most people that have an educational business or run a live trading room do not have the advanced, high, sophisticated level of skill set that I do in reading price action or to have a trade. Most of them are doing other things. What does that mean? That means that there are other people that know how to read things like I do, all right? But they're not accessible to regular people out there in the world. You don't know their names. You don't know where they live. You don't know who they are. You will never meet those people. They're invisible. Okay, people that are doing things that are out there in the world that you don't have access to and never will. The real advantage that people have that even know me, that know of me, that have even come to one webinar or listened to any videos of me is that there's an opportunity to come and learn from someone like me with such an advanced, high level, sophisticated skill set to be able to reprice accurately in the U.S. stock market, to be able to read market direction and stock direction, is that you have accessibility to me right now. It is not something that is going to exist for eternity because people that have the kind of skill sets that I have have endless amounts of opportunity because there is very few people on the planet that know how to do what I know how to do. And the people that do are not accessible to regular individuals. They're not, they don't run businesses where they're teaching people how to do it because the stuff that I know is something that it's going to translate to a next step for me. This is what I'm doing right now. It is not something that I'm going to do forever. And this is why the people that come to me recognize it's an opportunity to talk to me and ask me questions and learn from me directly. This is not something I'm going to be doing forever because my skill set is so advanced and so high that it has an endless amount of opportunity because it's so unique. But there are people that can do what I do. They're just not accessible because they're not in the same industry. They're not running trading rooms and they're not teaching people. They're doing other things, okay, which is where I'm going next. So it's just one of these things where, you know, I teach a class on how to read this stuff. If you want to do it, you can contact me and sign up for the course. The class, next class is January 24th and 25th, if you want to learn. But I really, really know how to read price. Somebody in the room said today they're going to listen to me, and I'm the expert, and it's true. I'm an expert in reading price action. And I'm an expert in reading the first five minutes of the day. I'm an expert in reading the daily chart, which tells you everything you need to know. And as a day trader, to be able to read that first few minutes of the day to know whether something's going to work or not work in what direction, if it's going to be really good or a failure, is extremely important if you want to day trade. Because day trading can be tricky. Uh, the moves happen fast. They happen very, very quickly. In order to get it, in order to get the right entry and the momentum, you have to be in the right direction. I called the market long immediately today as soon as I saw it, and I said it was going to hold this morning before the open. So if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. If you want to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, it is next weekend. Again, you know, this is an opportunity to learn from someone like me. So you can take it if you want it. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you want more information. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.